Hi. Now while discussing about the character strings or the character array, it is very important to understand one very nice function which is built in C library and that is called as sprintf. Why it is important particularly for embedded developers is there is a reason for it. Now whenever you are doing embedded systems project, you may have a variable like temperature and it may have some value like 31.2. So, this is what a float value or you may have let's say a kind of a variable which is let's say humidity you are reading it from a sensor and the value in the humidity is currently let's say 60 which is for 60 percent. Now what we need to do is whenever you want to print a variable on display, on screen or on any such platform for example in embedded systems what we have is we have lcd or glcd or tft or what we have is uh, what we have is a serial port or bluetooth or something like that or for that matter any kind of display standard display device now the thing with the standard display devices is they don't understand what is 31.2 they can't understand what is 60 either what they understand is ascii codes so if you have to print 32.2 you need to give ascii of 3 1.2 if you have to print 60 you need to give ascii of 6 and 0 now to achieve this there are two methods one is an easy way another is a different way easy way is to use sprintf which we'll see difficult way it's something where you split this number into 6 and 0 and then add 48 to it so 6 plus 48 54 0 plus 48 48 and then you send 54 and then you send 48 now where this 48 value came from why I am adding 48 into the individual number because whenever you add 48 to any number you get its respective ASCII code. So 54 is the ASCII of 6, 48 is the ASCII of 0. This is a difficult way. You may have to write down a different function to achieve this and therefore it may require significant amount of coding. So this is a difficult way to convert your integers into text string. Easy way to convert integers into text string is I'm going to show you. So what we are studying here is conversion of int or float into string value. Easy way is to make use of this nice function called as sprintf. The format of sprintf is very simple. First thing you need to do in sprintf is you need to give the uh, resultant array where you want to store your result. For example, let's say I have an int temp and let's say temp has some number. What I'll do is I'll have a character array, let's say my, just for the sake of current understanding, let's give the size as 30. So the format of sprintf goes like this. First of all, you pass on my to it, then comma. Then format your variable over here directly. So you can format it like this, percent %d. And then pass on that variable. What is that variable name? Temp. Now you can directly print this my variable using embedded functions. Now in C programming this has or in the desktop C programming sprintf has less significance. Why? Because we already have printf function on desktop. So printf can do this thing for us. But in embedded domain this sprintf is very helpful. And let's see an example of it. I'll just skip it here. Let me save it as convert int to string. 
when you are printing something uh, on our embedded system platform, you don't have a printf function. Remember, the whole reason why we are studying this thing is because we are studying, we are trying to understand C from embedded perspective. Now, you don't have a display screen and therefore, if you don't have a display screen, you don't have printf in embedded domain. Now, in that case, how you convert int or float into the text string for printing. Let's take an example. So, I'm just going to take one example up with int. Okay. So, let's put value of a is equal to 65. Now, I want to print that value. So, using sprintf. So, the format of sprintf goes like this. sprintf, the result my, the value, whatever you want to give and then the variable name. Now, this my ha is my resultant string. It now consists of the value of A converted into its respective ASCII code. And now I can print this my. In any other platform like embedded system or any uh, serial printing or LCD printing, now you can directly use this string my for printing. Now, in C programming, what we have is put s put test my and then it will be printed onto the screen. Let's try this on. Now see when you use put s 651 is printed over here. The benefit with sprintf is actually beyond this thing. But let's give it a try for both of them first. So b is equal to 31.36. If you want you can also do percent %f and print the value of b because it is a float variable. Now let's build and run and you can see the 31.95999 value is printed like over here. There is a uh, there is a particular way in which you can limit the value of uh, limit the number of digits also in sprintf. I will tell you what is that in just a moment. So the way to go is percent one point 2f if i am not wrong okay now when i do percent 1.2f it simply means first one means yes it is okay whatever is before decimal point will be printed as it is and then 0.2f means you want to print only two digits in or only two digits after decimal point if i do percent 1.1f then it is directly rounded off and printed as 32.0. So like that, you can limit how many total number of digits you can print or you want to print in your text string. This is what percent %1.1f type float is formatted and printed or stored into the variable called my. The benefit here, however, is you can also create a text string with text and variables together. For example, if this one here is temperature and if this one here is humidity, for example. So, you can create a text string like this. T is percent D. H is or sorry, T is percent. Let's change it. Humidity is percent D. And temperature is percent 1.2 F. Let's pass the two variables. So humidity is A and temperature is B. Now what we just did here is we actually combined the text and string together. So let's see the output. Let's hand. Now look at it. H is 71 and T is 31.30. Like that, you can convert your variables into text string and then try to print it onto LCD or probably at any particular output device you have in your embedded system. 
this is at most important guys i can't uh, even comprehend or i can't even stress it how important this is many a times let's say if you are working on arduino platform then you probably don't have to do this conversion arduino functions like lcd print serial print will directly do this for you but if you are doing bare bone programming using let's say atmega studio sorry atmel studio or microchip studio or using kill microvision for arm controller stm32 controllers or any complicated application if you are making then most probably integer to string conversion or float to string conversion by default will not be supported like arduino and in that case you will have to have make use of sprintf function Please try this code properly and I am pretty sure you will need this code in doing your embedded system experiments. Thank you for watching this video.